I'm Jamaican. Of course, dog bite me when me little. I'm Jamaican. Of course, me used to powder my chest when me beard. I'm Jamaican. Of course, me used to bite me ten fingers if me point pan one grave. Now, people, this is a challenge that's been going around. Tell me that you are Jamaican without actually telling me that you are Jamaican. Like, for example, whilst growing up, once a youth beard or a pitney beard, you see them powder them chest. You know that is a Jamaican thing. So tell me that you are Jamaican. So tell me something that you did while growing up as a child that only happens here in Jamaica or mostly happens here in Jamaica. But people, speaking about Jamaica, do one thing I don't get about Jamaica is this. So I alone feel like Jamaica need to cut out the JP thing. Like me feel like a 2024 now, brother. We can't done with that now. Like, why you need to go to a JP if you know say, I want a real person? No, me this. Especially if me have a national ID. Like, I want you with a national ID. What we need to go to JP for? Now, people here in Jamaica, just to open a bank account, to get a passport, to get a driver's license, I could go on and on. Any official business, you have to get it a document or a letter or whatever stamp of approval by a JP. I'm like, we're living in a modern society. Just your criminal work record could tell all of that. I mean, like, the, the, the JPs are there in the community and they can, well, say that them know you and, you know, just give a referral. But, I mean, like, in today's society, it is just so hard. And if a certain JP don't like you, them can just, you know what I mean? Them don't want to sign your thing and most of them, you have your pop off a piece of money. I, I just think it's just so unnecessary and hectic. I mean, all them have requests you have to know a pastor or some, I mean, like, seriously, I'm not doing anything illegal. Just let me carry in um, a criminal record and let, let's do this. I have a national ID. Let's do this. I don't know. <laughs> Tell me in the comment section, though, people, any of people, what is up? Welcome to the Answer Truth family. Hope each and every one of you is having a blessed and productive day. And people, as usual, do remember to give this video a like, subscribe to the channel, and make we keep the video off. Like like this. What are you doing? What are you doing? You're crazy. Don't you dare do that. You're crazy. You 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 please. No, but this police are about gun for not like that. Nice no, 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 no. You're crazy. What are you doing? Gun. 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 What are you doing? You're crazy. You have got back gun for we? You got back gun for we? You must be crazy. Sir, can I have your documents and driver's license? No, oh, look at that Jamaica. The man back him gun. The man back him gun half away. The Sir, police back him gun half away. Sir, can I have your documents oh, and the driver's license? The man shoot me up this evening. Sir, can I have your documents and driver's license, please? How could I really cause this? Sir now people check this out this video went viral all over social media where you can see this police officer actually asking this motorist with a gun in his hand for his driver's license now i am assuming that the motorist is refusing to give the police officer his documents now people don't you think this is excess use of force even though no force was used but thinking about it though a man don't want to give them license so you back out a gun pan them I mean, like, is that even legal? Is that even right for all the persons that know the law? Can you share it in the comment section? Because I'm thinking, like, the man don't want game license. I don't think you should pull a firearm on the person, like... I mean, like, I don't know, people. Just tell me in the comment section. I think that is... Uh, I mean, like... When a firearm is drawn, I know generally that the person should be a threat to you, themselves, or others. Like an immediate threat when you use that force. Like a man, you ask a man for driver license, you refuse to give, you don't have other means of... <sighs> People, share it in the comment section. What people, speaking about police officers, take a look at this interaction. This officer is writing me a ticket because he pulled me over and said, I don't have no streaks for my car. My car just come out, of, come out of on the body work. I don't have a passenger in my car. I also have my half duty sign. I also have my half duty sign. You understand? From Burke Road. You understand? When he pulled me over and tell me, say, he pulled me over 
for not having no streaks on the car. Then he turned on the camera, I bad me up, and he turned on the camera, he might bad me up and say, I give me a laughful order. Take me out of my car, search me, then he took um, my documents, I turn off the camera when he might deal with me, and the government then give me the camera to have every interaction where him to have with a person and pull him over. You understand? Sir, you are now being warned for the offense of disorderly conduct. You continue, you will be arrested. What, what is what is disorderly conduct? What is disorderly conduct? I'm speaking my mind. What is disorderly conduct? Come here, you're well one going on the station. Come here, explain all of this to the sergeant. You understand? What is disorderly conduct? This is your last one. Uh, speaking, speaking my mind is this. this is your last speaking, one. Make sure, make sure, tone your voice down. Speaking my mind. Mr. Brian, speaking my mind, is this how the conduct? Now, people, being that you weren't there, I weren't there, we are going based on the video. Basically, this man is saying that the police officer is giving him a ticket that he does not deserve. And when the man have the sign where said no duty on his car, did they question the police if he is making the right decision? Then again, people, what I really notice is that the police is actually wearing a body cam, and I think that all police in jamaica should have a body, a body cam so that the interaction between them and the citizens can be captured so instead of a police i give you a report based on when feel like um based on what he fabricated what really happened and based on who is actually telling the truth you can actually have a video to see everything that's going on then you can use that in court and determine what really happened i think that is excellent excellent Excellent, excellent now people take a look at another interaction between police and police this is rather interesting take a look at this I saw him driving along Oak Road with the cell phone Samsung Galaxy S9 device clutched in his hand driving down, I signal him to stop a matter of fact he make eye contact with me and him drive come down all the way down so you see him tell him to provide him documents he refuse to provide him documents I know I'm get him documents him call me that, you see him like you see him go on him go on you can get them tickets here you know me, 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 me promise you that you know let, sir I know you know not produce me that documents. Let me see your documents. Let me see your documents, please. That's That's now people as stated before the interaction are between two police officers so the person that is actually operating the motor vehicle is a police officer and the next person obviously is a police officer now people after he found out that the person operating the motor vehicle is a police officer and him still want to give him the ticket because he is saying that he had his phone in his hand people i really commend that police officer because most police officer when them realize uh, them buck up on a fellow officer so I must say a squad, you got through squad, you can break the law. Now people, very importantly, no police is under the law, above the law. They are there to enforce the law and also obey the law. So people, please take that into consideration. But people, I was not there. You were not there. We're not passing any judgment. But if he did break the law, it is good that the police officer still wants to give him the ticket after finding out that he is a fellow police officer. Now people, do share your thoughts in the comment section. Well, let me tell all the gang members who are licking their lips looking on at big fat contracts to come. None of that will happen here. I want to say it loud and clear. We have already started to work with the JDF and the JCF. This will be a military camp if it has to be. There will be no extortion here, no illegal activity here, no controlling of sight here. None of this government funding spending here will go to fund criminals. 
that link must be cut. Taxpayers' money can't come here. And people have name and list who don't come to work, collect pay, and then use it to buy God. Cannot happen. <laughs> Cannot happen. This mustn't help build gangs. So those who have that in their minds, stay far from here. We have learned our lessons. We have seen where many government projects and other private projects, the criminals have sought to take it over. Don't put your eye on this one. The anti-gang legislation, we are perfecting it and we intend to use it. So if you get work on this project, you better turn up and work. We want to be clear about that. If it means that I have to put JDF and JCF around here and any man coming in or coming out has to be checked and the roster has to be kept outside by the JDF and the JCF about attendance for work, then it will be done. It is sad that I have to speak this way at such an important launch. But until we put these things in the open and treat with them as it should be treated, it will always be continuing. Our generation must break the cycle. Now, Viva, my question again to the Prime Minister is, Mr. Andrew Ones, are you stating that criminal elements and gang leaders cannot get a contract on any business or government official work? No money now go run to the gang them for fun, violence or fun, any form of crime based on the project that is being done? Mr. Prime Minister, where you say that can't go on again? But cannot happen. <laughs> cannot happen. Now, people, there you have it. The Prime Minister of Jamaica is stating that none of our taxpaying money, our taxpayers' money, will be used to fund any gang related activities. So, no man name can the pan work list. And you're not doing no work, and then you collect big check, and then you go buy up some big gun. No more of that. Political violence and contract is over, says the Prime Minister. People, do share your thoughts on that. So me can make case and blood clot dead. When I understand every blood clot time me a walk I got jump me cause me have to have security. Me have to have cover my mother. Me have to have cover me, me can't go nowhere though. Me blood clot head back. Cat burn pen man won't kill me. Can't tell they how much money from them blood clot time they in a prison for you for the gas and age and get rid of me. And me have to have use blood clot science to protect myself. So it is a long thing. So quicker the blood clot girl dead it quicker for me. Can't tell now for blood clot murder me. And all of them man, they when them pay the money, a cat burn pen now for bad shoot me. So you quicker she did it better for me. Why fuck who no people are gonna have a problem? The bitch won't kill me. And well, people, this has been circulating on social media also. Allegedly, Vibes Cartel. Well, you hear it straight out of RT Boss mouth. Cartel pay how much money to the Gaza Nation man of Cockburn Pen for slap him where so he have to use Obia to protect himself. So, as soon as somebody dead, a female in particular, I think we're assuming that is Spice. I am just assuming, making assumptions, he did not call Spice name. So the sooner the female is dead, then he will be okay. Well, people, I have nothing to say. I'll just see this video floating around on social media, going viral. People talking about it. People <laughs> burn out RT Boss. As you know, RT Boss is not known to speak the truth all the time. But this is what's been happening. People do share your thoughts on that in the comment section. I would work it out online. Some people have to if it's in that dog already, what's it in? Uh no, you know. Good over here, sir. Now, people, again, check this out. Recently, dancehall producer Russian was doing an interview in which he was asked if the Dirty Money Rhythm, that is, you know, the rhythm we have run the place with Raja Wildlife, Craft, and um, Naji Boy, all the artists, them will have hit songs on that rhythm right now. If him would have link Alkaline for work on the rhythm, and he's like, nah, he's pledging his allegiance to the Gaza, even though he never said that, but. Y'all know what is going on right there. So I said, no, nah, work with Alkaline. Nah, link him. Well, he never said, nah, work with Alkaline. He actually stated that, no, nah, nah, link Alkaline on it, you know? I went on YouTube, and funny enough, I just started seeing uh, uh, the songs pop up with different, different artists. Right. And I started seeing... Uh, and people, since we're on the topic of Russian dirty money rhythm, that was a Niji boy. And it is said that Niji boy cannot see, he is blind. But within his interview, Niji boy keep on saying that he went on YouTube and he saw, and then he said he saw something else. And then the persons or the people are like, 
Nigel boy, you know say you're blind or you see but people obviously when Nigel boy say him see him no mean say him see all time I mean like it means of communication or you know you have like on the phone you have things for blind people so man just a talk like how people talk like people come on man the man say him can't see well him say him see anyhow people moving right along and people honestly i'm going to conclude the video here well i'm going to show you a video of jada kingdom and stefan dunn sitting side to side arguing about man well people you know say i like me at all but <laughs> take a look at this Aya, aya in grow. Little boy, big arm in the one. What are ya? So me nah look. Then when he come back, how many malu? Oh? When he come back, malu, how many kids? Then when he come back, how many boys do man? Where am I? Alright, me 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 done. Where the boy? You can't get away from me. Tighter, I mean big man. What? Alright, I will little boy used to go for me.